Hey, what's up guys? So for today's video, I'm gonna be doing a one year, like anniversary type of review of my X1D camera here. So let's get to it. Okay, so starting with the pros, why? So starting with the pros of the camera are the obvious things like image quality, right? It's superb. It's the sharpest camera that I have ever used um, and the colors are great. The files themselves are, I don't know how to word it. They're the easiest I've ever had to use to edit. Does that make sense? Did I word that correctly? Basically editing with the files that come out of this are easier than any that I've had from any camera. That's what I meant to say. Uh, there's so much dynamic range and stuff that I have a lot of wiggle room to play. Next thing I love about this guy is the leaf shutter. And I love this thing because I, I mostly work with strobes. Um, I'm a studio shooter. I shoot outdoors too, but almost everything I do is with strobe. I hate trying to use high speed sync. So I stopped doing that a long time ago. But with this camera, I don't have to do that. I get to shoot up to one one thousandth of a shutter speed in the studio if I want wide open and it's all thanks to the lens so this camera allows me to do whatever the heck I want to do with my strobes well kind of up to one two thousandths of a shutter speed but that's plenty I've never needed more now I will say this is a slower camera so I'm not in the cons yet but since we're talking about the lens and the leaf shutter I gotta mention that how do I say it takes pictures like a second off, if that makes sense. So normally when you when you click the shutter, you hear it or the model hears it or sees the light flash. Not my phone, sorry. Um, they know to change poses, right? With this, I kind of warned them, hey, give it an extra second because it takes a little time to actually take the picture. Um, it's actually a second after you press the, set, the shutter. So a better way to explain it is uh, I do a lot of fantasy work, I do a lot of cosplay stuff, so we do a lot of things with capes, cape tossing, uh, fabrics flowing, so this is probably not going to make much sense if I show you like this, but basically when I, when we have someone toss the cape, with like my Canon, it's fast enough so that you toss it and while I'm looking through the viewfinder, when it falls, I'll hit it like right around here, captures it. With this camera, I gotta take it where we do the countdown, we toss the cape and it's up here, I snap, and then the picture comes out with it kind of down here so it does take like a second afterwards hopefully that made sense it's not exactly a con because you can get used to it like I have and it's totally fine but it's definitely not a pro so I'm gonna put it in that corner and finally this is just a matter of opinion but I think that this camera just looks like a sexy beast I mean it doesn't look like any other camera out there uh, I'm trying to get it to focus on the market and it's beautiful stop focusing on me focus on this yes I mean the design is fantastic it feels great it's got a lot of weight uh, it's not as heavy as a DSLR camera but it's close to it but the size is way smaller it's super thin it's only big because of this lens but sorry it's focusing on me here I wish it wouldn't and this grip is one of the best grips it's actually the best grip on a camera I've used. It just feels great. I don't know how it would do if someone had gigantic hands, but for me, it's perfect. Uh, let me turn it on, just so you can hear the noise. So this next part, uh, turning it on, it's slow, so I'm gonna say it's a con. And we're gonna get to the cons anyway. So we're waiting for it to boot up. One hour later. So that's how long it takes to boot up. So it's definitely not a speed demon. If you're going out there to shoot birds or something, you probably don't want to bring this camera. I like the sounds that it makes. I don't know if you can hear this. So the click isn't everyone's cup of tea, but I like it. And it could just be I'm so used to the DSLRs and stuff and I'm sick of it, but I really like that sound. Okay, so the very last pro for me, I don't know if I can show you guys, but what I really like about this camera is everything's pretty much touchscreen. It's all touchscreen. Got four buttons here, five buttons. Five buttons here, sorry. 
but everything is just completely touch screen and it's super intuitive. You know, you just change the shutter speed right here, f-stop, white balance, everything. If you've ever used um, a smartphone in like the past 10 years or so, then you would know how to use this. You don't need to really get instructions, get a booklet out, even though it's completely different because it's all touch screen, you'd figure it out in less than five minutes. And it's super intuitive as opposed to say like uh, Sony cameras. Go, 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 go. All right, so now we're gonna get into the negatives. But here we go, number one, battery, right? I like the battery. What I don't like about it is it runs out super fast. I have two of these guys and I recommend that if you're gonna get this camera and use it, you need to have two just in case. That, that's the minimum. And they're, unless they lowered the price, they're about 120, 130 bucks each. So it's really expensive for what it is. Don't like that. All right, so we're gonna get to the biggest gripe I have with my camera. And this would be the ultimate camera if they would have just included a thumbstick. Just include the thumbstick for the uh, autofocus. I'm sorry, for the focusing. Nothing. I mean, it's part of the grip, makes the grip good. I get it, but really? No thumbstick? Okay. So basically, how they want you to focus, here's method number one. Let's um, see if we can focus here on me. You can use the dials here in the front and one in the back to control, you know, up, down, left, right. And those are on some of the much older cameras that used to do that. Uh, they don't do that much now, so I don't know why they put them on this. I think they didn't put the thumbstick and they put that there just to keep it sleek for the design aspect, I guess, but they really should have put like a little nub or something here because, I mean, you can get used to this and I'm probably going to get some people saying, hey, you know, I, I'm used to it, it's fine. Maybe it is, but with the amount of money you're going to pay for this, I should not have to focus uh, or move my focus points, I'm sorry, like this. I should just be able to do it super quick. Just my two cents. And next up is the touch screen. So when I, before I got this camera, I knew that there wasn't going to be a thumbstick, which already made me upset. I knew it came with this. Didn't care because I heard that it came with the touch screen. It's a pretty big touch screen, so I figured it's the future. Like it's gonna be fine. So when you use your camera normally, thumbsticks over here, so you're already used to using it with your right thumb. Let's try to show you here. When you're gripping this, it is heavy, by the way. So trying to focus on this touch screen with your thumb from your right, it, it's a little far. Um, it's uncomfortable, at least for me. Maybe some people with really long hands can do it, but it's it's uncomfortable for me. I have to stretch it. So I'll, you know, I'm always holding it two-handed anyway, so I use my left thumb. <clears throat> so you might be thinking, a lot of screen real estate, you know, you, you, you got to put it to your eye. So you got to put it to your eye and then move it with your thing. Here's the problem. Before you can do any of that, you got to go into settings and choose one of the corners to use to move the focus point. I'm going to say that again. You go into the settings and you have to choose one of the corners to use to set your focus points. You don't actually get to use the entire screen, which would be nice, it's a big screen. Why they didn't, they didn't include that, I don't know. I really don't know. But now you can see the problem, right? When I've got this up to my eye and I've chosen like this little corner because my thumb is closest to that, here's the problem. I'm trying to show you the best way I can. There's not a lot of room, right? So when you're looking through the viewfinder and you see your focus point and you're trying to move it on this little tiny corner, it has to be very sensitive so that it can cover the grounds of that image, right? So when I'm moving it, it darts around. First off, sometimes if there's any smudge on the screen and it's not clean, sometimes it doesn't even register. So you just gotta wipe it off real quick, do it again. And then when you do it, it's super sensitive, right? So it's getting all over the place. That's just me being a whiny bitch, whatever. You get it to where you need, right? So I'm the type to compose 
move the focus point to the model's eyes or whatever I'm trying to focus on, fire. So I will do, I will compose the picture. I will move that focus point to their eye. Got it. Lift up my thumb. Now remember I said it was super sensitive. So I wanna say at least one out of every three times that focus point that's on your eye will jump. And that sigh is something I do all the time if I'm not just dropping a straight up F-bomb. It's really annoying and it's really frustrating. Why they didn't just change it, I don't know. It is a major con. Um, and I doubt anyone from Haspel that's gonna be watching my video on this, but if you do, please. I know that you can release a firmware update and just make it so we can use the whole screen. So it doesn't have to be as sensitive and I can move my thumb freely, you know? When we're trying to focus, just doing it like this doesn't really work because instead of you moving the focus point with wide strokes, you're, you're, you're kind of like doing this, you know what I mean? So the, the focus point just inches along. And then once you got it, like I said, and you lift your thumb, sometimes it just... All right, so one last, I guess, con. And it's not actually at the camera itself. It's at the software that it comes with. It comes with the focus software. It's a piece of shit. It is completely unintuitive. It's hard to figure out. It's hard to work and control. I mean, every program I've ever used, there's nothing like that. It is just not user friendly. It's not intuitive. It's slow. It's garbage. The only thing that I will give it is that because it was made for this system, when you're trying to pull, when you're trying to recover files, right? Like you shoot it too dark or too bright, whatnot. Recovering the files in that software is super easy. It's just one slider and it pulls out everything for you. That's the only thing it has going for it. Everything else is absolute crap. Now, is this camera a must buy? Uh, I'm gonna go out and say no, there's nothing that's a must buy. But if they would have put that thumbstick, I would have told you all to run out and buy this camera and sell every other camera you have. But without that, it's close to perfect, but it's not perfect. I would say if you're still interested in it, because the second version is gonna be coming out in a year or two, I would just go rent it for like a week and really play around with the autofocus points like I mentioned, because that's what I think is going to determine whether or not you're gonna want this camera or not. It's just that. It's literally just that autofocus point. If you can get used to moving these scroll wheels or some people maybe don't have a problem using the screen and it's just me. It's just super sensitive or I suck after a year with it. Uh, that would be the only thing that's going to stop you from loving this camera. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed that video. I actually did this video because I got a lot of requests on it. Everyone was curious about it. I did try to tell everyone you can go on YouTube and just see a ton of reviews for it already, but they wanted to hear from me, so there you go. Uh, you can let me know in the comments if you actually enjoyed the video and got anything out of it or if you thought it was a complete waste of your time. Until next time, guys.